uh, hello, uh, this is a question. A car um, mm, traveling around a circular path uh, with radius r equals 316 meter. And this kind of uh, road is called a bank road. So the angle here is uh, theta equals 31 degree. So the car uh, has, uh, the question uh, gives you the coefficient of a static friction. And then the car can travel at a certain speed, uh, but there is a range. Uh, for example, if the car travel too slow, travel too slow, the car is tend to slide down. And then if the car travel too fast, uh, the inertia is going to bring the car move outward. Uh, with this static friction, the car should be able to stay on the track without moving. Uh, but now let's focus on uh, this case. Is when the car uh, arrive at maximum speed, which means if the speed increase more than uh, increase over the maximum limit, the car is gonna actually gonna go outward. Okay, so based on that we should be able to draw a free body diagram uh, about all the forces acting on the car. Okay, so let's uh, draw, just draw a box for the car and then we should have temporal forces. So this is going to be the gravity and this is a uh, normal force and then because the car is tend to move upward uh, at the maximum speed so there is a friction must going against this motion okay uh, let's draw the friction like this okay so a label so this is fn fg FF. Okay, for any circular motion uh, problem, so you need to realize we must have a net force going towards the center. Okay, so the center is about here. Okay, and then we have to resolve all the forces into a component along this central direction. Okay, for example, so we resolve the normal force this way and friction this way. Okay, later I will label after I've done this. And okay. So I'm gonna do a different color for the components. Okay, so we do have components here. So this is Fn. Uh, let's call it a Y. So this is. So this is Fn. X. This is going to be. This FF. X. This is going to be F, F, Y. And then look at the two direction. One is vertical direction. You can see the car is moving uh, in this plane without moving up and down. So this direction, so the Y direction, uh, like I just put it here, Y direction, we should have the equation that one force going up that's F and Y should equal the sum of two forces going down. So that's one, and it's F, F, Y plus F, G. So you can tell this equation is very different from the question you did before in uh, dynamics when a block is sliding down. So totally different case because the acceleration is different. And then the other direction, uh, let's call it X, which is actually the central direction, this way. So we can see there's two forces uh, towards the same direction. So 
so we added them up f ffx plus fnx so the two force add together should be the net force uh, centripetal so it equals m v squared over r okay and when uh, how much is the friction force when this velocity is the maximum that means we need the friction also uh, contribute its maximum so that's the only case when the ff equals the mu s times fn okay now that's all the three equations we need to solve this problem okay so let's try uh, put everything in so the equation I just follow the order the first equation f and y should be fn uh, times cos uh, cos theta so the angle here is theta okay so the angle here is theta as well so that should be uh, fn cos theta is 31 degree uh, equals ff so I still write ff uh, ff is uh, should be ff y should be sine 31 degree plus fg is mg second equation it's ff cos 31 degree plus fn sine 31 degree should equal m v squared over r and then the f, f equals the mu s, which is 0 0.5 times the fn. Okay, let's plug in the two equations will become, so just plug in this one into both equations. So we should get fn. Now let's factor the f, we put the fn on the one side, so we have fn cos 31 degree minus so FF plug in with FN so 0 0.5 FN and sine 31 degree equals mg. See we can see we isolate all the FN on one side. Uh, and then the second equation is FF again equals 0 0.5 FN cos 31 degree plus FN sine. 31 degree should equal m v squared over r. Okay, now uh, both equations you can factor the fn out, fn out, and then we just basically divide the two equations. Let's label this one plus two. So because we try to find a v, so it would be a little bit easier to do the equation two over equation one. So and then let's switch the, uh, the two sides of both equation. So we should get m v squared over r divided by m g. And on the other side, you look at here. So we let's factor the f n out. So inside would be 0 0.5 cos 31 degree plus sine. 31 degree so here on the bottom we have fn so again we factor the fn out so we get 31 degree minus 0 0.5 sine 31 degree Okay, you can see the Fn is cancelled out, the M is cancelled out, so you can solve for the V. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be quick to solve the V. V is going to be and um, G, R and G, and 
everything here 0 0.5 cos 31 degree plus sine 31 cos 31 degree minus 0 0.5 sine 31 degree and take square root uh, let's use calculate it equals so the answer is 69.8 meter per second okay so that's the velocity done for uh, this question and uh, before I uh, end this uh, problem so I'd like to uh, to see uh, if the question asking for a minimum okay the minimum of course the question may be different they will give you a different uh, coefficient make it a small and that means if the car uh, uh, does not move then the car is going to slide downward so in that case the only difference here is the friction the ff that right here is going to upward okay so if the question asking for minimal asks minimum speed FF will will be up the slope okay so as long as you make the direction of friction correct and then uh, you should be able to follow the similar uh, steps to get this question done. Okay?